Hi, I'm Tim Kiefer, and this is my wife, Carol Kiefer. And we just want to, first of all, say that we really enjoy the national parks and national monuments, and we have visited many of them, from the Everglades to Gates of the Arctic to Hawaii, and certainly here in Arizona. Um, but we want to share one adventure we had in Denali National Park in uh, 2000, June of 2000. Uh, we call it our wildlife experience. Um, we uh, took the bus in and backpacked 12 days uh, in, uh, around the Toklat River uh, and saw many wildlife even on the bus in where we saw a grizzly bear mother and two cubs. Um, once we got off the bus near the Toklat River, um, our real adventure began. And I'll let Carol fill you in with some of those details. <laughs> the first. The first encounter we had with was with caribou right there in the Toklat River in the gravel bar. And um, they were, you know, it was just amazing for me to see caribou for the first time. And then as we hiked in to uh, the first section that we went to and set up our camp, we had just finished dinner and I look across the river and there is a grizzly bear. Um, and he wasn't paying any attention to us. He wasn't threatening, it's just that he was there. So we packed up our food, put it in the bear bin, and just watched him. And so that was like the fourth grizzly bear just the first day in Denali, because um, we had seen the mother and two cubs. So um, then beyond that, I'll let you take over again. <laughs> well, just a day or two later in another section near the Toklat River, uh, we were uh, just finishing our breakfast and we heard the Arctic ground squirrels chirping away and it sounded a little different and we think that they indicate a different type of predator. Um, so Carol took the binoculars looking maybe for a, a falcon or some other uh, uh, bird, um, but she yelled wolf and I thought that was a funny word to hear at that time. Uh, but she said, no, there's a wolf uh, uh, right out outside of our camp, about uh, 30 or 50 feet away. So I stood on the bear bin and was observing this wolf as it passed by us, uh, and Carol yells, wolf, again. And I thought, well, that's strange because we know we're looking at a wolf. Uh, but no, there was a wolf about six feet away from me. He wasn't threatening. He looked like a very nice dog. Um, and we, unfortunately, we have some uh, photographs that we didn't bring with us, but indeed, there was a wolf uh, in our breakfast camp and, and two that morning. Uh, that was really quite a treat. It was a young wolf and we were able to just like scare it away. And it went back out with the other big gray wolf and it was just a great experience to have a wolf that close and to get a picture close up like that. The but next experience, uh, we had was uh, in the evening uh, again this is June so it's daylight pretty much all the time uh, and we had a grizzly bear come up to our tent just as we were preparing for bed uh, I'll let Carol tell you this story <laughs> we uh, definitely uh, saw the grizzly coming from quite a ways away so we went up on the rocks up behind the tent which was you know pretty good hike up there and uh, we sat there and watched the bear the bear came up around the lake, digging up some roots, um, walked up to the tent, stopped, stared at the tent for a moment, and we're both praying that it didn't touch the tent. <laughs> and uh, it walked over, sniffed the tent, walked around the tent, and went on down through the pass. And we were very thankful that we had followed all the park rules and had our, our food and everything smelly stored in the bear bin 100 yards away from the tent. The, either the next morning or another morning uh, shortly thereafter, um, we were doing a hike from our camp uh, up a fairly steep grassy hill slope um, and we encountered a herd of doll sheep. And we sat and rested with them kind of grazing around us. And Carol and a ram um, grew quite fond of each other. And so she walked down the hillside with him. And again, we have some amazing photographs. And unfortunately, uh, we didn't bring them with us. But uh, uh, again, just an experience an hour or two with a herd of doll sheep as if you're one of their uh, friends. Do you want to go to the caribou again? 
the last caribou. <laughs> oh, the last caribou. Yeah, I, it was one of our last days in on the on the trip, mm-hmm. and we had um, this caribou that just walked right up to us as if we were part of its herd. It, you know, wondering where the heck, ever, you know, we were going. So, and it just stood there and stared at us as if we were, you know, part of its family. And then, you know, it went on its way and we went on ours and, you know, it was just a great experience to have a caribou just walk right up to you. So <laughs> we, we experienced a lot of uh, other varied wildlife, moose, fox, uh, uh, Eagles. various bird species, Jaegers and uh, uh, ptarmigan. Uh, it was really a once in a lifetime experience for us. Uh, 12 days in the wilderness, backpacking with uh, wildlife uh, uh, encounters continually. I believe Carol says we were there 12 days and saw 13 grizzly bears. Quite an experience. Thank you, National Parks. Yes. National Park Service. We love you.